So let's talk about Brexit. I say leave the EU and I'm not from UK. So why do I say this? I say this because it breaks my heart to see the British go extinct. Because I care about you and I care about what you brought into this world. You ended slavery. You began the Industrial Revolution, invented a million ideas and a million things. The rule of law, gentlemen agreement, yes, your ancestors were great people. Today, what's happening in your country? You go extinct. You are a minority in London, your capital city. Why? Do you want to disappear from the rest of the country too? You have one island. A small corner in the world. Why can't it be yours? Why do you have to bring all these people to replace you? You know, Indians have a very large country. The Arabs have many countries that are very large too. The Africans as well. They have countries tens of times bigger than yours. Why can't they do anything with that wealth. Do you know why they come to your little island? Because you are smarter, because you accumulated wealth, your grandfathers, your fathers and hopefully you. At the end of the Second World War you had your country destroyed and you rebuilt it. Why didn't these migrants do the same in their countries? There must be something with you people that it's special. And other European countries and the Japanese, but now I'm talking about you. And you have to understand that with every child that you don't have, and it's replaced with a child from the Middle East or North, North Africa, the thing that makes your country great fades. The less British parents are able to imbibe their values in their children, the less UK will be UK. In time, only the name will remain. You will be Arab and African or Indian and some British, of course, just like some Indian Americans are now in the US. And all your history would end. It is so sad. Do you get what I am saying? I would say the same thing if Britons would go in Syria and replace the Syrian people. Why should they disappear from their land? If you love diversity, you must keep your country. And this European Union that dictates your laws now, are you serious? You thought the Nazis and Hitler to keep your independence and now you take orders from Merkel in Germany? Really? Why fight in the first place? You could have given up in the 40s, at least spare London from all the bombs. You are the ones who created the industrial revolution and you can't decide the rules for your own economy. It's like having an expert neurosurgeon take advice from a little kid. The other European countries are watching you. You will give the tone, a Europe of free nations or a total megastate. Be the pioneers that you always have been and choose freedom. If you do that, the political European Union will collapse. And the true economic only Europe will emerge. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And as a side note, I want to say, I love you Brits. I know not many say that these days because they don't understand the difference you made in the world. And I hear from people that migrated in your country that the Brits are cold they drink all weekends until they pass out. And I know you know that is true. You feel the pain and you drown it in alcohol and cold shoulders. Don't avoid 
these problems anymore and maybe you will find your happiness. It's time for change.